All right, this is my son's Lego shredder. I have been in the process of making this for, I don't know, a few months now. Been kind of doing research and trying to figure out which pieces to use and what does the best. And through kind of trial and error and input from the, the kid who does the video called The Muffin Monster and um, just watching a lot of YouTube videos of different Lego shredders and then just now getting some help from my husband to stabilize the motor. We don't have a lot of Legos. Um, we just bought enough Legos to build this. So if you have a lot of Legos, you probably won't have as much trouble. But we finally have it stabilized and it, I want to show you how it works. I'm going to reverse it and go back and it has been shredded. What's underneath is a shredded mess. Now if you look around this is, I've been experimenting and playing with the tin foil since we figured it out. It's a bit of a mess but let me just clear this out. I'm going to demo some paper as well. Do another piece of tin foil. Turn me off a piece. Of me. And what I'm using here is an XL motor and a battery box, I guess. And it gives you two different directions. It goes this way and that way. Just basically, it reverses. Um, if you look at the the gears, I have these pointed gears. And these first two on these first two axles, I have them pointed towards each other, and then on these next two axles, they are point, pointed towards each other. And then on the other side, so that they'll all move, I have gears connecting them. Since obviously I only have one motor turning one axle, these gears on the other side turn the other axles. <coughs> so here we go, another demo of tin foil. Oops, that went really fast. Whoa! Reverse the motor. I know, but the Lego popped off. This does happen occasionally. It kind of sucks, but it's a really strong motor. Haven't had a too too much problem since we. Okay, there we go. You can just reverse the motor when it gets stuck. Kind of does a good job shredding it. Does a good job shredding it when you have to reverse it, and that's what you got. So let's show some paper now. I'm gonna make sure. It's all kind of pushed together. Make sure the gears are in line. See how that one's kind of popped out? You want to push that back in. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. This is my first demo on paper with this. I don't think that's shredded too well. Take a look at it. Let's see. Oops. There we go. That's my husband's hand. My hand didn't just magically change. <laughs> so it kind of beats it up a little bit, but definitely doesn't shred as well as tin foil. So maybe if you want some more power, you need another XL motor coming in from the other side, or try uh, on. sure. And it's just like, we don't have a lot of Legos, like, we just have one kit, and the rest of our Legos are just these little ones. But if you have a lot of the longer Legos, um, you're going to have a lot more stability in your, in your Lego shredder. I can do it, hon. Go. Yeah. So, it doesn't shred it quite well, but it does beat it up. And for a six-year-old, 
that's going to be pretty awesome. So definitely looking forward to Christmas morning and hopefully he doesn't get hurt <laughs> from it because I pinched my fingers in here but it doesn't work unless those gears are there. So he's a pretty cautious boy and we'll let him know what not to do and I think he'll have fun. And there's my hubby. Oh, that's a nice close-up. <laughs> All right.